Salutations, adventurers, and welcome. I am the Adventuring Bear, and thank you for joining me on another quest within Wayfinder. Today, we're going to be tackling the continuation of the Iron Farm. Last we saw, we had built up a nifty little village breeder, thanks to the Nerdykin. Thank you very much. And with those villagers, we now have enough that we can seriously put together the structure. This iron farm is designed by a Nembom, and it produces 9,000 iron ingots an hour. That's, it's really crazy. Do I need that many iron? N no, no, I don't. Do I want that much iron? Yes. Yes, I do. And if you've been watching my videos, then you know what's coming next. A time lapse. So let's get that going, and I'll see you on the other side. successfully complete while I've been busy expanding just a little bit the storage system this has been running non-stop and with no issues for the past like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes maybe and if we look we don't have this much in every box because I may have placed the hopper slightly wrong um, but we shall see I can't quite reach those down all the way down at the bottom 
But as you see, there's already stacks upon stacks of iron so far. That is less than a half hour's worth of this. So let's give a fly around real quick of this in action. We got iron golems spawning. We got iron golems frying. We got iron golems giving us that sweet, sweet iron and poppy. Here it goes through the system. And we're looking good. We are looking good, everyone. Look at them falling to the lava blades. And this is five separate modules. This farm is not just productive. It is aesthetically beautiful, at least to me. It is very elegant. It has an industrial look. But there's just something about how it is put together that makes it very beautiful in my eyes. I love it. This is kind of a special scenario as Nembom is the creator of this farm. He's the one that did all the math. He's the one that did all the statistics to figure out how to optimize this farm. But it's not just Nembom that I will be referencing in this video because Spieve had a block by block tutorial on how to put this together and that is what allowed me to put this farm together as well as easily as it did i mean it's still a massive project even with a block by block so i will be referencing down below nembom the originator of this farm and speeve since he is the one that explained how to do it so easily hit the links down below check them out, let them know the adventuring bear sent them your way, and have fun with it. The more I'm doing farms, the more it's allowing me to understand the method and the science behind this. I learned so much about how villagers work from studying this farm of Nembombs that I've already had ideas of what I might want to do in the future. But that's for future seasons. My iron farm is done, and I am not going to build another one this season. Look at how beautiful this farm is. Just look at that. It is elegant, very elegant. And it just so happened to be built perfectly so it looks like it was planned. <laughs> this looks like it was planned and I did not plan it. I chose where I was going to build the iron farm. It was just, I wanted in this area and I went just X amount high, as high as my scaffolding went, and that's where I started building it. And it all turned out to be perfect. We have many plans for our main base, and this iron farm is going to help facilitate that. Between hopper uses and all sorts of other things, this iron farm is going to be one of the pinnacle foundation keystones for all that we do in the rest of this season. Quest complete with that much iron coming in there is no way i can use all of it if you remember there was a lot of space i created in the shopping district let's hit that second time lapse so i can show you what i built
here we are at my iron shop fully complete well at least the exterior with a sign walkway our own creeper defense yeah you're a good kitty yes you are <laughs> And it's pretty bare on the inside. There are some slight decorations. I've got a forge over here. Um, quote unquote forge. <laughs> I got some furnaces. I got the stock here. Doing stacks of iron. Stacks of iron bars, just in case. Some hoppers and some anvils. So nothing much. Not a wide selection. But I am not sure what everyone's iron needs are, so that's why I also put this here. Welcome to Fee, your one-stop shop for all your iron needs. While the stock may rotate, I do offer special order services. If there is something currently not in stock, please contact the owner, Adventure Bear. So that way, if anybody needs something iron-related and they don't see it in the store, or I happen to be out, then they'll be able to contact me and place a special order. There is still more decor I want to do in here. This is pretty empty. And as a lot of Minecrafters like to say, you want to make your building look like it's lived in. And right now this doesn't look lived in. This looks like I took over a hovel and decided to place a few boxes in here. So that will hopefully change, but not in the near future, unfortunately. There are so many other more important projects that I need to achieve first, like the auto sorter, because those chest monsters are causing me a lot of wasted time in searching for materials, and then I end up not even having them. I know that the lava isn't perfectly leveled out, but I've actually died a few times trying to get this lava in here. I should have worn my fire protection gear, but I did not. So after losing a few diamond items to it, I decided I'm going to leave it as is. The decor that I put in might cover up a lot of it anyways, so I kind of want to see how that works out. So up here, we used basalt. I kind of interchanged it there to give it a little more texture. And just like downstairs, there isn't much up here. There isn't going to be too much decor I'm going to do up here because there's not a lot of space. I didn't want to make this a full-fledged second floor. I feel like that would be incongruent with what you would expect if you walked into some kind of smithing iron forge type building. I wanted to leave glass, but as you can see, I used white. So it's a little foggy, a little hazy, kind of give you that kind of more dingy feel to it. And I did use um, andesite for the most of the flooring because I wanted to give it a little color in here. It needed to be brightened up. <laughs> yes, I know there's lava. There was too many reds, too many dark things. The basalt didn't help too much. So I wanted to uh, make it pop a little bit better with the andesite. And that is, well, at least the functional part of this iron store done. That leaves the main base that we need to work on. The next video will catch all you adventurers up to speed on what I have done with my main base thus far. I have done a lot of digging. I've done a lot of building for my welcoming center. And then adventurers will all be in real time catching up for everything we've done over the holidays. So for now, I must say, may the sun be on your face and the winds be at your back. <laughs> in all the things that you do, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.